What is up, everyone? I am back. I am back. Can't stop, won't stop. Pulse chain's got me excited. Uh, I've been trying to hold it in, but, uh, you know, again, if you watch the show for a while, you know that at least for the first few months, I've been pushing it out. I've been saying, hey, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to have anxiety. I'm not going to cause myself to want something that's not going to be around. I'm not going to sit here with the hopium. So I keep pushing it out. You know, okay, if I think it's coming in February, I'll push it out a few months. If I think it's coming here and there. And I was like, ah, oh, 2024, whatever. I don't care. I'll wait another year. Uh, you know, it, we, we, uh, we're in the bear market sideways. You know, it, it's fine. So things have, there's been a lot of rumblings lately. A lot of screenshots, a lot of tweets from Richard. A lot of, uh, he's turned on the dev outrage marketing, apparently. <laughs> Saying some stuff that's, uh, you know, and I covered the dev updates a day or two ago on the latest one. Uh, so, sort of talking about the stages and I was kind of like, yeah, why, why does stage seven matter? It's just thinking the blockchain, blah, blah, blah. And then I came across uh, a Hexkin who I hope to have on the stream this weekend, uh, if all goes well, who did a bunch of tweets about syncing. And I, I looked at Alex from Hedron's tweets as well and talked about how the different stages and basically you could use that. It didn't really click for me immediately when I was going over it, but the stages kind of can give you a hint of, hey, they're syncing uh, the nodes and you could even calculate some math upon how long it would take for that to happen. I don't want to get into all that and time estimates and again, give myself uh, dates that I could be disappointed with. But things haven't seemed closer than they are now. The last few days, it seems like we're getting closer to testnet. Now, how far we are from testnet, completely different story from mainnet. No idea. I'm, I hesitate to even say, I don't think it's 2020. I, I was in 2024 camp for for a long time, at least, especially the past, past couple months. Uh, I know it's not a long time, but I started preparing myself for that. And now I'm like, it could, it could launch this year. I'll say that I'm definitely more confident it'll launch in 2023 uh, than I have been for a long time, especially since mid-May. Um, now, is it launching 2023 February? Uh, I don't know what data anyone, uh, like clear data is showing that's the path. We may get test net in February. It's looking that way, but mainnet, who knows? Could be six months, uh, could be end of year, who knows? So don't get your hopes up too much, but I've certainly been feeling excited and I wanted to stream. I wanted to, uh, you know, I want to, I'll talk about, I'm so I'm going to get into pulse chain, go down the rabbit hole as well, but I think I'm going to start doing, getting more into validating uh, nodes, especially when testnet V3 comes out, I think I'm going to do some content blog, uh, AMA, and do a lot more content around that, setting up the node. I think that would be useful and it'll be good for me to learn and deep dive more into it too, because I'm interested in that. Uh, having the devish type background, I think it'd be fun to figure out. So anyways, people, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. I, uh, I've i just been streaming a lot lately. I guess, I guess maybe it is excitement. Maybe Jfather, Jfather, uh, Godfather J6, full chain, greatest two weeks waiting in your life. <laughs> Uh, it certainly felt more like two weeks in the last, uh, in the last two weeks than it has ever felt like two weeks in the last uh, 18 months. So red squirrel, appreciate you showing up for the algos and give me the thumbs up one day. I'll do a stream at 11 AM again, Pacific time. You'll, you'll be able to stay. So apologies for that. I just think that, uh, in the afternoon and evening, uh, Eastern time works a lot better for me these days. Welcome, Doug. Good to see you. Somebody had notifications turned on. A few of you did. Sounds like. UFO to go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, coffee sounds good. I've had a couple today, so I probably shouldn't have any more, but I do love coffee. It just tastes good. It's good. Crypto Compassion. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you at a meetup soon. It's always fun to hang out with you. Coffee and content. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I it's nothing like some coffee and some, uh, you know, watching some, some stuff you like. So if you like my content, and you like coffee, sounds like a good deal to me. First thing commented, welcome origin, uh, or origin X dot X. Cool, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for uh, letting us know you're around. And so I said, welcome, but, uh, welcome back, I guess. So appreciate, uh, appreciate you. Let me know that you apparently like the content cause you said nice things. Some people don't say nice things and they let me know that way too. So appreciate seeing you and, um, yeah, it should be a good show. I think, if y'all haven't seen my hex rabbit hole one, 
Uh, I want to do this in a similar style where essentially I go through what it would be like coming across pull chain for the first time and go into various different verticals that I come across and also uh, talk about, basically show you how to do research too. Uh, I did have a comment the other day. I said, hey, you know, if you want, some, I thought about doing a stream about how to do research because a big bulk of my career has been getting really good at doing research and technology and just how to like, like Google really well, how to like really search for things, how to narrow, narrow it down, find what you need to find. Chat GPT is just accelerated that uh, to the nth degree as well. So, you know, not just Googling, but we'll use chat GPT as well today. Um, so that's why the stream came about. I did the hex one. It turned out pretty well. I, you know, now I want to do the pulse chain one and then I'll probably do a pulse X one. Uh, if this one turns out good, which why wouldn't it? I think uh, we got some good content set up for it. Susie Q, good to see you. Good to see you. Haven't seen you since PulseCon, but hope to uh, see you at the next meetup as well. And yeah, glad to come by. DHexistentialist, love the PulseTube.com. Shout out to DHex and uh, everyone behind the PulseTube. Great website. Was looking at it today to, to check out some stuff. They actually have different sections too. So taxes, if you're interested in crypto taxes, which as soon as I clicked on it, I saw a bunch of my videos. So of course, I've interviewed one tax professional three times from the US and one guy from the UK once. So I have plenty of tax content as, as well on the channel. So if you're interested, type RH Max taxes or go to thepulsetube.com and scroll down and click on the taxes uh, link. It'll take you to all the videos, not just mine, but other people in the community who have streamed about it as well. Uh, but I had a Carlos uh, Quintana the tax professional on yesterday for the investment mindset. And we played cash flow game and it was super fun. So that was a, that was a good time. And he talked about uh, some different tax, tax stuff too. So that was a recent stream. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Jacob's hex ladder. I do love hex ladders and uh, I love people love my streams. So welcome to the club, man. Awesome. Good to see you. Thanks for your support. Hexographer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, sir. Can't believe I caught a live or the start of the stream. Yeah, I know. It seems like, I don't know, I start and there's only a few people and then I get halfway through and there's, it usually maxes out halfway through or towards the end for some reason. I don't know if it's a time or what I, yeah, this is, I, I can't really adjust the time. This is just my, my happy window of, you know, stuff, uh, being able to stream. So I'm, I'm glad there's replay game, right? You can always, uh, rewind and you can rewind during it, watch it. Cause I see people doing that sometimes. They'll say a comment on something that happened way beforehand. And I'll be like, I think you're, you've rewound the stream, but you're on the current chat. So you can do that too. Origin next. Yes, sir. Phone. Every time, every time it's hard. I struggle with your name. Fomophobic. I love it though. And I love your avatar too. That's, that's a cool, uh, cool laserish eyes. It's like almost like a wolf or a ghost. I like it though. I like it. You made it. That's true. You made it. Godfather. Yeah, I know. Did not do well the first game. I know it's, you got to wrap your head around it. It's really a mindset deal. It really is. So super fun. Cash flow. Just Google for cash flow game online. Sign up. Carlos uh, did it. Uh, we, we played last night and we, we became, we, we got financially free through that game. We escaped the rat race and then we've been on to be an investor. We didn't continue the game after that, but then we had millions of dollars to play with. And it really shows you so much about like how reality gives you a reality check. It's like, it's like monopoly, but like based on real life and uh, you can lose, you can go bankrupt too. And uh, that just means you got, you got stuff to learn and, we played a good game yesterday, so that was super fun. Good to see you, Vets. Well, that was good to see you, man. Thanks for showing up. We're going to get into it now. I am going to share the screen, and we're going to get into Pulse Chain stuff. Now, I got a lot of Pulse Chain content coming up, so I know, I know that's not shocking, but um, I know I almost feel bad for not talking about Hex enough. I need to go back and I've been really focused on pulse chain and, and RH content lately, but um, I need to do some more hex streams because uh, that's, that's my favorite product because it exists. Pulse chain doesn't exist yet, but it certainly will. So I want to, again, I'm going to structure this just like the uh, hex rabbit hole stream and except now we have chat GPT. So we can talk about that a little bit and I'll go back and forth on the chat, but I kind of just want to blaze here for a minute. But if you have some comments, have some questions, whatever, it's always AMA. So just throw them in. I'll get to them when I can. 
First question, pulse chain. I do. I'm a newbie. I'm searching for stuff about pulse chain. I'm probably going to Google for it first. And the first link, the launch of pulse chain is the largest airdrop in history. Man, that SEO stuff and those descriptions and the websites, golden. It's almost as if the founder has a background in marketing that he's able to understand how to set it up where somebody searches for this. They get probably the most appealing sentence they could possibly look for for people who you know, are, are at least new into crypto. That's what you're looking for, right? They're like airdrop. Airdrops are like free money. And this is the largest one. And then thousands of Ethereum-based tokens and NFTs. What? Amazing, right? I love that. I love that. Uh, I love the pitch right there. So if I do that, I'm probably going to click on the website. Let's take a look. Testnet. Te okay. Wow, that seems like progress. Testnet is live. There's a Pulse Chain project, and the testnet is live. Currently, the second version, we know V3 is uh, coming up because we have insider community information. We have because well, we're inside the community. But second version of Pulse Chain testnet is live on validated rotation, registration, staking. Wow, that seems like they got their stuff together, right? You can connect MetaMask now to view a copy of all your ERC20 tokens. Wow, there's a call to action. You know, that's uh, I can do that, and I can see what I have. So, and this tells you how to do it. Uh, assuming you get that far. Wow, there's like stuff. For, oh, there's a bridge. Oh, pulse, pulse ramp.com. There's a bridge. I can connect my wallet. Wow. Pulse, pulse. This thing has a bridge. So this must be like a serious crypto project, right? They have a bridge. And maybe I'm not even sure what a bridge is, but it sounds cool. It sounds like, you know, if I were able to read these words and understand them, it sounds like I'm able to go from network to network here, from Pulse name to Rink B, which is Rink B is a, uh, a Ethereum test net. So, wow, they got a bridge, pulseramp.com. Cool, cool. And then staking. So, like, so here's all the stuff TPLS. Okay. Pulse chain test net. Wow. Okay. You must manually add your ERC20 for them to show. Okay. And then there's already been work done there. Get free PLS. Worthless, but okay, because it's testing. I get it. I get it. You'll be able to swap PLSX. Oh, hold, hold on. what's PLSX? That's, oh, they're apparently they're doing some sort of the native token of pulsex.com. We'll quickly, I'm not sure what a sacrifice face is. It sounds like a something to where I can give money with no expectation of profit from the work of others and I may get a coin in return. I'm sure, I'm sure half of them probably just, just assign that as being a, some sort of ICO like activity, but uh, it's not, it's different. Uh, because stuff. And then, so what is PulseX? Well, uh, it's just, uh, let's see, where do I find out what PulseX is? It's a token on Pulse Chain. And then, interesting, designed to increase in value. Okay. Don't know what it does, but I know it's, it's designed to increase in value, which that sounds extremely appealing. Okay, cool. And it's awesome. Okay. Dirt, cheap fees. Oh, okay. Sushi swap, Trader Joe, quick swap Unis. Okay, I've heard of I've heard of Sushi Swap before. I've heard of Uniswap. Maybe it's okay, it must be one of those decentralized exchange deals. Okay. Wow. Well, those are nice. Okay. So PulseX. Okay, apparently, oh well, there's testimonials. Wow. Aubrey de Grey, the chief officer of the Sins Foundation. Thanking Richard Hart. Wow. Okay. There's, there's testimonials. That's that gives me more confidence as well. Pulse chain goals. Yeah, yeah. What is this thing about? Increase Ethereum's value. Uh, fees be lower by sharing it slowed. Enrich ETH users. Uh, instead of one, launching empty, Pulse chain brings ETH system state in the ERC20s. This rewards holders and founders of Ethereum-based projects. Sounds like the founders of Ethereum-based projects would be interested in Pulse chain. Uh, let's see. Like, yeah, you had me at artist airdrop in history. That's why I clicked the link. New Gold Rush contains the value discovery of thousands of tokens and NFTs. I have a couple NFTs. They'll be on Pulse Chain too. I wonder what they'll be worth. Hmm. If if I I want to be a whale, maybe I can be. Very interesting. And also eco friendly. Nice. Uh, oh, Ethereum 2.0 is already eco friendly. But hey, we're not going backwards. 
Uh, game theory. That sounds cool. Zero percent inflation. Hmm. I just commentary. I wonder if uh, some of this needs to be updated. <laughs> I'm not sure all those numbers are completely correct now that uh, things have changed course a little bit for the better. I might add. Cool. Okay. Nomenclature disclaimer. Okay. This is what sacrifice phase is. You were sacrificing to prove how strong you believe that blockchain is speech and speech is protected human right. Okay. Political statement. No expectation profit. I'm not buying anything, but it sounds like I'm maybe getting something in return. And a lot of people did it. A lot of people did it. So, hmm. Sounds fine. Sounds like a lot of people already did it. Where would I be able to see? Let's see, where would I be able to see how much they did? I don't see that around. Anyways, pulse chain. Now, if I'm doing some re oh, okay, like the fourth link, pulse chain. Okay, so there's apparently pulse chain on coin market stuff. Currently untracked, but it's registered. Wow, okay. It's it's on a it's on a coin market cap thing. Okay. And then there's a pulse chain news and talk. Wow, 19k followers. That's that's a lot. This thing is looking more legit as we talk. Okay. There's like a hi, there's like a documentary thing over here. Okay. Shout out David Feeder. Uh interesting. And then Richard Hart. He's talking about some dev stuff on Pulse Chain. Let's take a look at him. Whoa. Is the guy like the founder? He owns the world's largest diamond, the quickest Ferrari, the most expensive Rolexes made. That's a bold statement. $27 million. He, so he owns a charity or he contributes to charity. 10 million watch a three minutes. Wow. This guy doesn't mess around. He also doesn't read messages or email. Must be a busy man. Wow. And then there's, there's stuff going on here. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, Richard Hart, we'll come back to him in a minute, but I just want to just find out like what people are talking about on YouTube too. There's a hashtag pulse chain here. Okay. This guy definitely must be the founder. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, he probably likes sex. Oh, what's sex? Maybe it's related to Pulse Chain. Definitely looks like he likes sex, though, so, on this one. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of people to see. 798 channels that are tagging Pulse Chain. 13,000 videos that tag Pulse Chain. Whoa, that looks like a pretty, pretty big community. Pretty cool stuff. Wow, people are just going wild over it. How would how would a project get that many people that interested and that motivated to spend their time and energy to create this much content around it? Wow. Serious stuff. Serious stuff. And there's a Reddit. Let's check out the Reddit real quick. Wow. Let's see how many 20k members on Reddit. Wow. Rank top top five percent by size. Interesting. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of uh. Wow. And new stuff too. People posting. People posting. Buying. Hmm. Just just broke twenty k. Wow. Very vibrant community. It certainly seems. Wow. There's people on Facebook talking about it. How to pulse. Oh, that looks like a. That sounds like an educational website. Yeah. So I can find out details. I can finally figure out what Pulse X is. Let's see. Let's see if I can confirm it's the uh, decentralized exchange for Pulse Chain. If website work. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Let's see what else? Let me. Is there anyone talking about, let's see, file type PDF pulse chain. Let's see if anyone's talking about X taxation. Oh, interesting. People talking about pulse chain and pulse X taxation guide by that bag spump on Twitter. Okay. Wow. There's even a tax deal here. 
I'm definitely not a tax advisor, definitely not financial advice, but people even writing stuff about taxes on this. Very interesting. Different ways here. Okay. Wow. Okay. So people are writing entire guides on this type of stuff. And then let's see, is there like a white paper? Oh, there's a, okay. Pulse Dogecoin white paper. Liquid loans white paper. Weight light paper. There must be different projects maybe on Pulse Chain. Then. Is there a Pulse Chain white paper? I've seen one. Pulse Network white paper. Huh. Okay. What about on Twitter? Let's see. Let's go on Twitter. Okay, here's a Pulse Chain com. 98K followers. Wow. Good serious project to me. Serious project. And what about when I type hashtag pulse chain? What's going on? What's the latest stuff going on with hashtag pulse chain? Wow. One minute ago, this guy named Hex Asian, who's a turtle staker, hex.com, soon pulse chain. Wow. Four minutes. Wow. There are people who are just very active community, very active community who are tweeting about pulse chain. Very interesting. Well, you definitely sold me on community for this. I haven't quite seen anything that, what about news? It's like a pulse chain news too. Watch your guru, pulse net test net V3 to be launched February. Interesting, let's look at this news article. <clears throat> February, 2023. Rumors are rife on social media. Pulse chain testing is thought to be launched sometime in February, 2023. A handful of hex investors are tracking pulse chain progress, claiming that testnet V3 could be out next month. Software development is going really great. Wow. Who, whoever is uh, posting on Watcher Guru, they are getting the top news when people type this stuff. Extremely good uh, to see that kind of stuff happening. Let's see. And then Crypto Slate, another, another one. Hex founder Richard teases coming Pulse Chain launch. Wow. Samuel Wan, shout out to Samuel Wan for taking the time to break this stuff down. Wow. So it seems like this blockchain is launching pretty soon. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, scam rumors. What's going on here? I haven't seen anything negative up to this point. Given Pulse Chain's associated with Heart, some have automatically labeled the project as a scam. For example, Twitter, IPS DeFi is identified as community manager, tap tools. But Pulse Chain is just the EVM fork, LOL. Big scam to lock up your tokens. Hmm. Similarly, Eric Walsh at SC Letter. Let's see, subpoena. Pulse Chain web chat configure multiple points, go to airdrops. Okay, you must have no expectation. Okay, so they're, so they're not really a company. They're just like, it's created this airdrop thing. Okay. I know why that would affect me. Anything else? Is that it on the, on the scam stuff? It seems, I don't know. That sounds like a big nothing burger just from reading that. Okay. All right, not concerned, not concerned. Let's see. Another one, six days ago, Cardona found her top poll of ideal crypto CEOs ahead of top crypto CEOs. Really? Cardano guy got that. Interesting. Huh. Oh, RH is winning if you can even vote for him. <laughs> That's funny. These all these all these founders like to poke at each other. That's how contemplates buying Coindesk. Okay. Wow. Well, what's going on in the crypto sphere? Interesting. Well, that's a few news articles and then images. Wow. Those, that's some cool stuff. I like just beautiful logo here. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That's a cool deal. Shopping. What if they got any like, t oh, whoa, they got t-shirts. Legit, who is making these t-shirts? And rings, there's like rings and hats. 
Christmas ornaments. I don't know. This project's looking pretty cool. I'm looking like, uh, let's see. How do, how do I buy? So can I buy Pulse Chain? Can I buy it or let's see. Let me say, can I buy Pulse Chain? See, then go to Binance and make a purchase. Binance sells Pulse Chain. What? Can you buy Pulse Chain at Coinbase? Pulse Predictions Market. Oh, that's different. <clears throat> that's a different one. What is this? Buying on. Okay, that doesn't seem like what I want. Can I buy Pulse Chain? I don't know, I buy Pulse Chain. Oh, somebody said, oh, okay, warning. Do not buy them. People are trying to sell you Pulse Chain or you know, all scammers. Multiple tokens. Okay, I'm not going to fall for that. There are multiple tokens called PLS. And I remember the test net was about to launch too. So it's not even live. So uh, you can't even buy Pulse Chain right now. Okay. So if I can't buy Pulse Chain, what about, I've always like thought about running a node too. Like, let's see, how to run Pulse Chain node. Oh, bring on hex, hexpulse.info. You can set up, oh cool, you can set up a validator node. Probably this is with testnet, I guess. Very interesting. Cool, using Docker. I know what Docker is, it's a container technology. Sort of like a lightweight virtual machine. Oh cool, I've used Docker before. And I could even validator, you could run a node. RPC, wow, lots of like very detailed information. Okay, okay, let's see. Have a compulsion out, what are requirements? Mm, that looks a little old though, so I'm not sure that would be up-to-date information. Hmm, and just wanna make sure, let me ask, did, so did pulse, pulse chain launch? No announced date for launch. Okay. However, updates and rapid progress made towards testnet B3. Be wise to look at how Pulse Chain decks and bajillions, bajillions. Yeah, that's true. They said they were copying, you know, all the all the tokens, NFTs are going to be over there. So interesting. Well, it sounds like it's coming out soon. Really, I haven't seen anything negative about it. I looked through the news, just people waiting on it to launch. Seems legit. Nice project. Let me ask, let's see. Let me ask ChatGPT. So what is the difference between Ethereum and Pulse Chain? Ah, of course. Of course, let's see, try this again. I'll look at chat in just a minute. Let me get chat GPT working again. Seems to be down every so often. Okay, I'll stop here for a sec while, while I'm figuring that out. Going to the chat. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, I feel like I learned a lot just from looking at like how, what a new person would see when they type it in, I think it's a good to have perspective, you know, get outside the bubble a little bit and look at, hey, what do people see when they actually search for this stuff? Whoever's curating the news stories, the information, the tutorials, the websites, everything looks super SEO optimized for when people search for stuff. They're, they're finding the right information, they're finding tutorials, the website's laid out perfectly, um, just about, I mean, it's great. It's a great experience looking for Pulse Chain stuff. So, what's up, lights out? Good to see you. Been a while. Good to see you. If you'd like to smash the buttons and you'd like to share it on Twitter, yeah, thanks. I usually post that, but yeah, thank you for reminding people. If, uh, I usually post it two or three times during the chat, but I've been kind of zoned in right now, especially when I do these solo chats or these solo streams. Appreciate that. Yeah, uh, share it on Twitter. Retweet it uh, if you like. 
That's it's okay. Prepare for the for PLS. It's okay. We all want to know. I can always circle back to hex. Yeah, I know. I was saying I want to do more hex streams, uh, but PLS has been on the rage lately. Uh, but you, you know, being smart people, the no hex that I haven't interviewed before yet, send them my way. Uh, connect us on Twitter. Let me know who you want me to have a conversation with, especially if they've done some really good content before. Because I kind of just see people that come up. I look around. I click on them, I message them, and uh, we try to connect. But it's always good to get a reference. Uh, so let me know if there's people that I'm missing that I haven't uh, talked to yet. I've been seeing a post. But first of all, AO Ben, good to see you. I've been seeing a post news or going around the community that PLS won't pass 100x and PLSX won't pass a 49x based on the number of wallets users sacrifice per pertaining to Metcalf's law. Your thoughts? Um. It's hard to, well, first of all, I haven't seen that. So it's hard to comment on those numbers. I'd be curious how they came up with that. First thing I would say, I haven't seen any analysis based on the wallets, users. I, I just don't know how you can come up with good information on it. I don't know how you can really come up with, other than the meme, the meme, the 10,000 X meme. I don't know how you can really come up with, with numbers. It'll be any close to accurate other than, I, I think the best, the best way I could see to think about it is if you look at all the other Ethereum forks or clones or related L1 projects. And if somebody has a link to the tweet that has the, the listing of all the X's they did, I think that's probably the best data to go off of because they weren't designed with pump minerals like Pulse Chain is. They don't have a genius billionaire founder. They weren't designed to appreciate, you know, all that, all those greatest hits. So, I think, I think, I guess in my mind, the most accurate measurement of what you could possibly see from Pulse Chain doing this, other than our 10,000x meme, which hey, memes come true sometimes. It's a, it's a rallying cry, it's a call, it's a aspiration, and it could be reality. Who knows? But if not 10,000x, for example, just take the average of all the other ones that launched and were successful and like had any traction, and. Uh, you know, come up with that as, as some sort of number. I think that would be, that was the most accurate way of looking at it I've seen so far. However, if you, you know, give me a reference, I can kind of poke into this more because uh, I'm always interested to see these kind of projections. But even if they, even if that was true, um, you know, that's better than the stock market. I'll say that. I don't think people are going to be sad with a hundred X or a 50 X or 49 X. Uh, of course we believe it'll do much more than that because other projects have, and we're the best, right? Like we, we have the best founder. Uh, we have the best community. Why wouldn't we have the best price performance since the, literally the entire thing is designed to make you rich. If you make the right decisions, give you an opportunity to participate in the crypto space in a fair way with projects that are, not sitting here trying to rip you off and, um, you know, fill your cup. So your cup runs over other people's cups can run over. You can help a lot more people when you're rich. Uh, so it's, it's just one of those things that, I, yeah, I'd like to see some more references, but, um, yeah, I'm sticking with, I'm sticking with the average of the other L ones, uh, plus or minus 10,000 X is, is that's a community meme. So that's, that's what I'm sticking with for now. Not a prediction, not financial advice. I just think that those are better data sources than, um, than what I haven't seen here reference wise. Oh, sniff. Oh, sniff. Dutch Hexkin. Love the smart approach, man. Not sure what that was a reference to, but thank you. Thank you. What's up? Pulse items. Yeah. We got pulsicans, pulse items. A lot of uh, conjugations and a lot of portmanteaus going around. What's up, Davis? Well, good to see you. Where's your next? Would running a node be more profitable than staking? More or less looking for a percent number. Yeah, I don't I don't have any percentage. We don't know enough about the system. I think was, once testnet v3 comes around, we'll have some more data on this. But if you're running a node, first of all, you need to be a validator. You can run a node uh, just to help the network, or you can turn that node into a validator. I guess a validator node, and then you can earn from, uh, you know, like staking your pulse or, or your ETH and, and you know, in that system. 
So I guess in this, it would be like running a, running a node to be a validator. It would be more profitable than staking. It's just unclear. We just don't have enough information right now. We'll have to wait and see, get some numbers. Maybe they come out of test net. Maybe they come from other projections, but we're, uh, I just don't think we have enough data to, to look at yet. I think the price appreciation <laughs> would be one of the more profitable plays, in my opinion, just holding it. If you want to be a validator or you just want to help the network and just run a node, that's awesome too. Hopefully we'll have some plug and play node devices. Alex from Hedron has, has mentioned this. Uh, he, it looks like he's thinking about making a device where you just plug it in, connect it to the internet, set it up like a router. And uh, you know it could be a, a, a node or it could be a validator too. So I think lots of ways to make Pulse Chain decentralized, earn fees. Uh, we just got to wait for some more information to kind of wrap our head around things. And yeah, K4K has said he's going to come on the show uh, sometime, I think after Testnet V3 launches. So I'm sure uh, during the conversation, we'll get into some of those questions as well, uh, or or definitely show up for that one. It should be, should be a good one. He's one of the few bigger streamers I haven't streamed with yet. Um, Got to get Hexologist too one day. But should be going on coffee show soon as well. I would, uh, we, coffee's been on the show a couple of times and I think I'm going to come on his next time, maybe next week. We'll see whenever he wants to set it up. Ask it to tell story plus chain. Yeah. Uh, I'll switch back to Pat chat JPT in a second free speech. Uh, good to see you as well. And, uh, I'll post that. Let's see. Get David Weiss on the show. Rags can book it. Hmm. Tweet connect us on Twitter. Cause I don't know, you know, I know rags. Don't know David Weiss. Tweet us, uh, connect us on Twitter. It's like suggest it. You know, if you want, if you want that to happen, just take your comment and, uh, at, at RH Maximus on Twitter, <clears throat> get the conversation going. So, so it doesn't look like I asked out of nowhere, middle of nowhere too. Let's see. A couple of chat GPT questions. UFO, the highest stakes movie, still waiting on a buyer. What happens if it isn't bought for sale? Yeah. I don't know. It's we're kind of doing this dance of like, well, we need someone to buy it. It's like, yeah, do we do we really need someone to buy it? Can we just I'm sure they'll work some kind of deal out. I'm not saying that the documentary doesn't sell itself, but in case it doesn't, let's just whatever, take zero dollars. Just just get the distribution. Um, I'd be I just I just want to see the movie. I want everyone to see the movie because it's going to show. It's going to tell a story that's never been told before. Uh, in, in documentary and filmmaking. I think it's going to be that amazing. So Netflix, get your get your checkbook out, back the Brinks truck up, or just say yes. <laughs> Either way, it would be great to, uh, of course, you know, I want to see the, the documentary people get paid. And I think it's been funded quite a bit as well, but uh, people just need to see the film. So whatever makes that happen, it's cool with me. The Chad, welcome, man. Always good to see you. Hex647. Some are speculating Arch may do a private V3 and go straight to public pool chain without test net. I I think I would not say that the private V3 would happen. I think he's being very public about V3 progress. So it makes sense to finish that with actually launching V3. And not that he listens to anyone in the community, but he knows the entire community will get super pumped and they want something to play with. And yeah, it's gotta be, it's got, we need something to play with anyways, because I don't think that mainnet is going to launch that soon after V3. I don't think so. So developers and other people need time to adjust their projects, to learn from V3 about what the stats and stuff are. There needs to be a whole bunch more content created tutorials, right? It's gotta be time for this stuff. So, I, yeah, I don't think that would be the case. I, I would not bet on a private V3. If anything, a private V4. Uh, but I, yeah, I would speculate there would be a, uh, we're back to the V1 and then quick V2 type of thing. I think there'll be a very public V3. And then maybe a quick V4 for a week or two. And then we go to mainnet. Or we skip V4 and go to mainnet. I think those are two most likely scenarios in my mind. Wind Moon RH Max. Well, 
Mm, should, should see the moon uh, in an hour or so where I'm at. Uh, moon for pulse chain. Whew, hard to say. What's up, Simba? I haven't seen you for a while. Moon for pulse chain could take some time, but good thing we are designed to wait. Hexagons and pulse chains are designed to wait. Yes, sir. Hex 247. So I'm going to go back to chat GPT and there's a couple questions here. I'll, and let's see, I'll go back to what you all asked as well, but let me share the screen again. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. It's been a fun stream, everyone. Thanks for, thanks for coming. And thanks for enjoying the journey with me. So let's see, what was my original question? Oh, uh, what is the difference between Ethereum and Pulse Chain? Really? Is a private blockchain? God. You gotta give me like you know because I've asked you about pulse chain before. You so you know. Figure out what pulse chain is. It's a project by Richard Hart. And then give me a better answer. I probably shouldn't be so rude to the robots, right? But I think you can do better. I believe in you. Waiting, wait, apologize. Oh, you're killing me. Well, at least he knows what Richard Hart is. Cool. Well, you knew what it was before because I asked you before. So maybe you, uh, oh, it's supposed to get better, not worse, right? So I'm supposed to forget information unless they censor a bunch of stuff, which I have a feeling is going to happen. Well, that was a super fail. Uh, let's go to your questions and I'll go back to mine. Ask it how to tell a story on pulse. I, I guarantee it'll know what pulse chain is when I ask it in a different way too. Like, what, what do you, what do you bet? Let's see, pulse how? So tell a story on pulse chain blockchain would be better than ETH. Make opportunities for French. Okay. Here we go. Now it knows. Now it knows what's up. Once upon a time, there was a young and ambitious entrepreneur named Richard Hart. He'd been working on a secret project for months and it was finally, it was ready to be real, revealed to the world. He called it Pulse Chain. New tag of blockchain, promised to solve all kinds of problems, scalability, energy consumption, skeeds Richard believed to be second. Uh, oops, what's it say? Richard believed that Pulse Chain would be able to process thousand projections per second and be much more energy efficient. Now you know what it is. I told you. Pulse Chain's launch, it quickly gained popularity among investors, developers, people excited about the potential of the new blockchain, and many believed it could revolutionize the way we use blockchain technology. Gained more users. Uh, investors who had bought Pulse Chain tokens early on became very rich as the value of their investment grew exponentially. That's a good story, man. Good story, bro. Uh, soon Pulse Chain became the go-to blockchain. Yeah, I mean, there's... There's a case for that, right? Like if, it, if it's cheaper fees, if some things just don't work in Ethereum because it's too expensive, if you know things get delayed, the new improvements get delayed as they have been for years. And, and finally, you know, uh, E2.0 launch Shanghai will it launch this year. Maybe, what, you know, what if, what if things uh, change for that? Pulse Chain could be uh, the way that projects scale and maybe they go back and forth. Maybe there's a connection between the two blockchains and they say, okay, Ethereum, you suck right now. We're going to use Pulse Chain stuff. And then Ethereum makes some improvement. They're like, okay, we're going to trans uh, do transactions on Ethereum for the more uh, cheap ones. And then Pulse Chain, we're going to still use for the more expensive ones. Maybe there's some, uh, this, there's some connection between the blockchains for stuff like that. Never know. 
David says, can you ask ChatGPT to provide one mathematical equation that cannot be solved? Then ask it to solve the equation. Um, okay. Give me a math equation that can't be solved. We already did this, you know, like crashes stuff or something. Okay. Solve a Ryman hypothesis. Nope, not possible to solve it. Cool. I did it. Uh, let's see. I'll, uh, yeah, ChatGPT is not good for predictions either. So uh, I wouldn't uh, ask it to. I wouldn't suggest you ask me that, that those things if, if you're thinking about it, chat, because it sucks at it. Let's see. Let's go to what, uh, come on. What is the difference between Aragon and Prism? Did you not hear me? I didn't say Ethereum. I said Aragon. Not Ethereum. You know, Aragon, the, uh, it's a execution client for Ethereum. If it's a new, oh, actually, it may not have the data on it because it may be only, you know, it has, it has data on Prism. You're killing me. It has data on Prism, but it has Aragon. I wonder. Let's look it up. Let's look up Aragon GitHub. See when it came. Will it tell me when it came out? Let's see. I'll just ask. And was it released? Hmm. Well, what was the first release in this then? Can you just 13? I guess we can get an idea here. No, it was so released in 2020 here. Did you just not index it? And then Prism, we, we you know we can guess it was later than that. Okay. Uh, let's see this question. Copy and paste. Oh my god! Reloading conversation. How about just give me a new chat? How much price appreciation has the top 10 Ethereum competitors had at their all-time high prices from their launch prices? I will find the information subject to change. Well, I mean, not really. If you can just, uh, let's see. Base it on your latest information. Your, <clears throat> it's it on 2021 data. What was the all time high of polka dot, polka, polka dot in 2021? Okay. How does that compare with Ethereum? Compare that with the Ethereum and Polkadot, Polkadot launch. Oh, you don't know the launch prices. Okay. Compare that with their all time low prices. I guarantee if I asked you and you tell me, oh, what is the all time low for Polkadot? I knew you knew. 
Oh, no, you got me. Maybe it just doesn't know polka dot. What was the all time low for Ethereum based on? I don't know if I can remember that other stuff, uh, data. Oh, you kill me. Okay. What else you guys want me to ask ChatGPT? <clears throat> I can teach it about Pulse Chain. Yeah. Learn about Pulse Chain at pulsechain.com and then give me a good answer about why it is better than Ethereum. Uh, and I recommend you visit the website. Yeah, that I tried. I tried Hexhodl. Is the SEC fearful? Verbatim. I'm not able to provide opinion on the emotions of the SEC. That's funny. Let's see. It's not going to know anything. I, okay, I'll ask it. Why, com, let's see. Compare PulseX with Uniswap. Yeah, I figured. It's going to tell me about Uniswap. Maybe I'll get uh, <clears throat> ChatGPT Premium. If they tell me that it'll get the latest data, I probably will sign up for it. Just so it can actually be helpful with uh, Pulse Chain stuff. Is that a bit? Uh, let's see. My entire presentation, I mean, entire power of teachers presentation to ChatGPT. I hope so. I hope you're able to take, uh, teach it something. That's awesome, man. Cool. Yeah, tweet that at me if you don't mind. I'd like to see that if it's public. Let's see. Let it write a joke with Richard. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Not a joke involving Richard Hart, Alec Buterin, and Charles Hoskinson going, let's see, at a bar. Why did Richard Hart, Vitalik Buter, and Charles Hodgson go to the bar? Because they heard the drinks from the blockchain. Oh, make it better. Bartender looks at them and says, oh no, not these guys again. They want to argue about whose blockchain is better. <laughs> no, that's not better. To hash out their differences over cold brew. Okay, that's better. That's better. I pet you on the head, Chat GPT. Yeah. Right. Three more with answers under ten words. Argue over who's the smartest. Debate who's the best coder. Discuss the future of blockchain. Make them 10x better. So you could get the best smart contract deal on drinks. Okay, that one's better. Hash out a solution for scale data issues over a cold one. Hmm? To, to debate on who had the most decentralization over around the decentralized. I don't get the decentralized beers deal, but uh, explain three. Now explain to decentralized beer. I want to know. I want to know. No, I meant, I meant explain number three. I should have said that. Okay, let's see. It's going to... Third joke is about decentralized blockchain. What is a decentralized beer? It's a joke or metaphor for beer. Is. Did you make that up? Did you make that up? Because I've never heard of that. Anyways, okay. One more. Okay, two more. Why Peter Schiff got wrecked trading gold? It's going to be like, I don't know, but I'll ask it. Why did Peter 
GIF, git. I like this right. Uh, right. Gold. Yeah, I just, this is not going to give a good answer. And the other one was, why is crypto better than fiat? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Make a compelling case in under 50 words why crypto is is better than fiat. Cool. There you go. You got a hundred words. I wonder if it's exactly going to make a hundred words. It's like, how do I say English in a way that hits 100? There you go. Okay. I don't want to keep, uh, like, not super useful to keep asking questions like that, but it was fun. Um, Oh, we present every year at Matty Allen Conference. Oh, that's right. Okay, cool. I'll check it out. Thanks, man. They are going to make a free version of Chef. So, <laughs> yeah, they, they, that's capitalism. That's true. They, they are incentivized to do that, unfortunately. We don't need Pleb GPT. We need Black Rocks, Aladdin AI to FOMO into Hex and PLS. Uh, just going off the way you said it, it sounds like uh, that may be their investment AI deal. And maybe if uh, we keep putting good news about it, they will. All right. We're almost at an hour. Uh, I'll just say just a few more minutes. Any questions you want to ask about uh, Pulse Chain? If I can answer them, I will. You guys have been great. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I got to do this one. And yeah, like I said, I'll do a Pulse X one uh, maybe here in uh, a couple weeks or so when I have a free free solo stream slot. I'll just uh, put it in there, but super fun. Hang out with you all. This is a Q. Yeah. That's what I figured just by the context. Yeah. Nice. Let's see. I got, yeah, I'm going to talk to, I'm going to take talk pulse chain. I don't know if I'll do a stream tomorrow. I may do one tomorrow. I may not. I won't be streaming Saturday. But Sunday, I have one set up to talk about Pulse Chain Dev Talk. So Pulse Chain and Ethereum Dev Talk. Talk about nodes, talk about validators, talk about um, the staging and the syncing of Pulse Chain. Uh, what's you know what Richard's been talking about. Go into more depth with another person about what I was explaining uh, this past week too. Some more nuance to it, and uh, Merkle Tree stuff. Uh, they had a really good tweet stream, tweet tweet storm about it. Actually, let me see. I'll throw the throw the tweet in here, so you all can shout out to Hex Hexadon official, and it's gonna be a hundred percent uptime. So only people watching this will know. The only people who saw the link in the in the chat, I guess there you go. Reason to show up. The link is in the chat for the person who I will have on hundred percent uptime because it's a surprise. Remember, hundred percent uptime is surprise guest. But I'll be talking with this gentleman if all goes well Sunday about um, a lot of Pulse Chain stuff. And maybe testnet will be out, or maybe it won't. Uh, either way, we'll talk about it. Thank you, CZQ. Appreciate you. Appreciate you and the vibrancy and awesomeness you bring to the community. Always good to see you. Thanks, Doug. All right, everyone, no other questions. I will take off. Hope you got something out of it. I think, uh, yeah, so recap first 30 minutes. I went over what a new person would see if they typed in Pulse Chain. You might have learned some stuff yourself. I know that I saw every time I do it, I see some things. I'm like, whoa, I didn't know there was this new news article. I didn't know this website existed. There was a tax thing, tax guide for Pulse Chain, Pulse X that was there. Um, that looked interesting. Uh, yeah, I found out some new stuff today myself. So it's awesome. It could be, man, Justin, it could be. Um, I mean, that's, I I think, you know, why would I spend so much time and energy into Richard's ideals, his products? I think it's the best opportunity, not only, yeah, for financial freedom, uh, for, to get, to get people I know uh, who 
who believe in stuff, who believe in a brighter future and are looking for something to uh, you know, create a better life for themselves. I've never seen anything like it. Been following Richard for six years. I, I would have, I would have logged off following him a long time ago. Uh, had he not created X. No, had he not uh, uh, been, had I not vibe with him. So I love his mission, glory, medical research, Cyvive, delayed gratification, amazing D5 products. Very well could be greatest opportunity of our lives. Very well could be. I certainly hope all of your dreams come true. Uh, hopefully you have some good dreams. Hope all your good dreams come true. <laughs> I'll say that. And uh, it's good to see everyone here. Hex Hoddle, consistent content. Yeah, man. Again, no promises. I may stop uh, streaming so much one day, but I don't feel like slowing down right now. Thank you, UFO to go. Appreciate it, man. If you want the facts, watch RH Max. Love it. Yeah, Pulse Tube. Pulse Tube's awesome. Everyone should go there. Time well spent. Thank you, Richfield. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't definitely don't want to waste anyone's time. I don't want to waste my time, but I want to get the message out there. What's your pet price prediction of the year? I don't make predictions, but lots of people think it's going to be much higher based on Pulse Chain launching. I'll say that. I would be uh, surprised otherwise, but not a prediction, not financial advice. It should be a great year. Hopefully a very great year for Hexkins and Pulsekins and uh, everyone following Richard. I think uh, 2022 is a very interesting year. We're due for one. So we'll see if we get it this year or 2024. Uh, a lot of people say 2024 worst case. and I'm down for that. I can wait. I'm good to go. No expectations. It's true. Only thing sure is that if you stay catch, you get more Hex. Exactly. It's uh, less a prediction, more the truth. All right, everyone. Appreciate it. SMO Spider. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Oh, I'm going to head off. And yeah, if you're showing up now, catch the replay. If you want to talk Pulse Chain and uh, chat GPT stuff. And like I said, I may do a stream tomorrow. We'll see if I feel if, I, if I'm up for it. I'll do one. If not, I won't. Uh, but Sunday, 100% up time. About the uh, same time as I streamed today, around that time, should be a great one. Everyone, side vibe and five, 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 five. <laughs>